Mike's on. Let's rock and roll. Bada bing, bada boom. Welcome back. <laughs> Fucking hell. Welcome back to a couple of fat asses eat more food, otherwise known as the dysfunctional dudes. I'm Savo. I'm Kyle. And today we're doing more of a traditional style of mukbang. Mukbang, yeah. Uh, QT style, baby. QT. Gas station food. Best kind of food. As you can see that, that's <laughs> QT. So What's we, even in I, Okay, so, so yeah, so what we have is... Oh, leg. He was we, in charge of all the ones with the paper bags on them. I just got... We, we have a gas station presser. Gas station hot dog. Oh, what is this? It's, it was called like a buffalo chicken stick or something like that. Cool. It's supposed that to be a little great. hot. Um, this is a gas station burrito. Why is yours shaped differently than mine? Because that's a quesadilla. Oh. That's a chicken quesadilla. A flatbread, oh. chicken, flatbread chicken sandwich. And then here we have... Okay, that looks pretty good. It's a grilled cheese. cheese. Probably one of the best grilled cheese you ever had, honestly. That looks pretty good. So yeah, we're just going to, I guess, start eating. This is just already cut in half. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You want me to cut in half this, this yeah. junk? You want to cut the yeah, fat one? <laughs> so this is a... So what do you want to eat first? I want to try the quesadilla. Okay. Just just cause... Chicken quesadilla. So that's a that's a thicken. It's all with the quesadilla. It's just a chicken and cheese. Well, it's considered a flatbread sandwich. Hmm. That's good. It's actually pretty good. You should be pretty disappointed. You can't be trying this. I mean, you guys can go try it right now. Go to QT. Mm-hmm. Well, it's pretty bad. Good? Sorry, not bad. It's it's not bad. <laughs> no, it's actually pretty bad. No, it's not bad. Simple. Mm-hmm. It's very simple. Three stars. We're gonna rate it. My will. Out of what, five? Yeah. Yeah, i give it a three. Okay. Yeah, those are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to finish it. Have you um, been paying any attention to what's happening with DC right now in the fandom? Is it called the fandom? DC fandom thing they just released? Like all the trailers for the new movies? Okay, we're talking about comics. I was like, I don't know anything about political stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know anything that's happening in DC. Um, <laughs> no, I haven't kept up. Please inform me. You didn't see the trailer for the Batman? Okay, yeah, you showed me that. Yeah, that. I thought that was actually... Pretty good. When you told me that it was um, Edward from <laughs> Twilight, and I was like, oh man, he's gonna play Batman. And then I saw the, uh, the there's this one scene in, in the trailer where it's just, he's like got the, the blackout paint in his eyes, like how Batman should, whenever he takes off his, mm -hmm. his cowl. But like he beats up this dude, he's like, I'm vengeance. <laughs> It's gonna be hard for him to compete with uh, Christian Bale's Batman, mm -hmm. but I think he will do a good job. I moved on to real cheese right now. Way to wait for me! I'm still trying to enjoy my my quesadilla. <laughs> oh, it's literally just a grilled cheese. Yeah. You see, I I never really have just a plain grilled cheese. He's fancy. A like, classic grilled cheese is so good, and then you add tomato soup with it. That's exactly why I'm using ketchup. You are not. I am. Oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty good, especially with the ketchup. Without it, they really plain. I like it. Mm -hmm. That's the way I was using it. Where'd you get the quesadilla rating? Huh? Where'd you get the rating for the quesadilla? Yeah, three as well. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, that's about a three. This, also, it's, it's just a plain, yeah, it's, it's, a it's average. It's a three. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not expecting anything here to be out of the ballpark. It's gas station food. Hmm? Now, we might have a debate a debate, a debate in our comments as to which is better, Wawa or QT. And then, and then people also talk about in and out and other things like, listen, we have QT. Yeah, that's all we, we have here, man. I eat QT for breakfast every day. <laughs> not mm -hmm. joking. Well, cause you get up at like 6 a.m. cause you gotta go into work at so, 7. So the only other place that's open that serves breakfast food is like gas stations. Mm -hmm. So next off is actually what I eat for breakfast every day. That actually looks like a really good breakfast. It's a breakfast burrito with uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Very simple. Yeah. I don't like how that in there looks kind of undercooked though. All them tortillas. 
Before. Until it folds. Oh. The exit's so. Yeah, this is going to Wilmington today, actually. I'm very sad now. Like, on a typical day, this would be like a four, four and a half star thing. Honestly. This is usually longer, full, damn. I think I pissed them off by ordering about five. They had to make them all. You just told him, hey man, look, I'm trying to make a mug bang. Can you just. I almost ordered more if I realized this would be plenty. I mean, it's it's pretty good. It's just solid. Oh, no, I'm gonna give it eggs. 2.5. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say two and a half. No, it's still good. I still order it. Yeah, I'd order again just just to see what you're talking about mm-hmm. and how it tastes better. Maybe then I'd change my, my score to like a three three and a half, maybe put a four. Mhm. Yeah, that's definitely two and a half. Yeah, there's not much cheese in it either. To be there's more cheese, it's like creamy and gooey. Maybe the breakfast people. Who make the sandwich if it weren't there? So it's like I also get it from different. I get it from different QT. Up. Then I did we got this one? You make the other QT makes them better. Really? Mm-hmm. Do you want something spicy? Yeah, try that. Okay, let's try, let's try the uh, buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken sticks. This is what I always used to get before school. <laughs> Back when I was in high school. Yeah, See, it's I don't like buffalo chicken. But you don't? Try. No, I really don't. There's a lot of chicken. Yeah, I know. It's just a stick of chicken. Ew. Right. <laughs> Ew. It's actually really good. All that is just chicken. I always get this number going like road trips or something. Yeah, it's not bad. For a snack. It's actually pretty good. A nice kick to it too. Nothing too. I much will good. say that when these are freshly made, the better the juice yeah, yeah. better. I would assume so. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I still give it about like a three. Yeah, it's average. Three. I'm yeah. getting out of the way. I'm kind of crossy because this gets a little bit spicy. <clears throat> but did y'all see the trailer for the Suicide Squad yet? Like the remake? Is it a re- Nick? Is it a remake or is it just a whole new movie? Or we don't know. I have no idea. John Cena's in it. And his name is John Cena. Da, 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 da. <laughs> they better put that in the movie. That'd be so funny. But no, I have not watched the trailer yet. It wasn't really much of a trailer. It was more like, hey, look who's in it. And there's a lot of people in it. <laughs> a lot. Why? They kill them. Oh. They all suicide. So there are, there's just going to be a bunch of cameos from a bunch of different famous people. Well, I mean, is it a cameo if you have a full-on character like that? I mean, Deadpool 2 did it. With that. I mean, I kind of think so. If it's, if it, yeah, that was, yeah. that's really just a cameo. It's, it's like, look, we had a famous it. person. We had but they all have the, the, their own powers. Right, but they were only there for a match of, what, like, like, I don't fully know. on screen time. The, like the, movie has, the movie isn't out yet. No, the old Deadpool. Oh, they weren't even in the Deadpool, Deadpool 2. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was a right cameo. Right yeah. Let's move on to the, uh, the Glizzy. Yeah, looking at this thing after it's been sitting for like 20 minutes, it just doesn't look appetizing anymore. Oh. <laughs> it's lost its. But this is what I was talking about, where I honestly think these are fresh, much better than Dairy Queens. What are you putting on yours? Ketchup and mustard. I'm just a ketchup guy. Yeah, no, you're simple. Mm-hmm. Normally, I, I'll have like my hot dogs with everything on it, just like all the way, like relish yeah. and onions. See, chili. when you when you eat it fresh, the hot dog is warm and the bun is a nice warm steamed bun. The bun's not warm anymore. No, it's not, because they've been sitting here for a little bit. <clears throat> all right, yeah, bombs up. <laughs> yeah. It's just a plain hot dog. Better than QT's though. Mm-hmm. The stuff that they put on it just was not good. Nick, do you know what we gave QT's hot dog? Whatever that number was. A little, like, half above that. It was... I don't I, I'll, I'll give this a four. Unless the DQ is a four, then this one. Really? Five. Yeah, I love these. See, I'm basing this all, also off my prior experience with it. Maybe I was just... brought up in a... Choose your next words carefully. <laughs> When I was growing up, we, we used to go to Lafayette, Coney Island, back in Detroit, yeah. and they had the best hot dogs there. And uh, whenever we'd go there, it'd be like my favorite thing. Mm-hmm. But now whenever I try other hot dogs, and like, I'm like, yeah, they're, they're okay. Like, everything's sub, subpar compared to it, because uh, the chili dogs that they had there were just uncomparable to anyone else. They were like, the, it was a small little restaurant, the same fast workers. When I it was, was, I was so brought up, Oscar Mayo Wieners cooked on the grill in my backyard and Skyline. 
if you're from Ohio or the Ohio area, you know what I'm talking about. Skyline's the shit. Best hot dog ever. Yeah, like when we went, I was like, yeah, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah, and it's in Florida. If you are from the Clearwater area in Ohio, you know what I'm talking about. Skyline's the shit. Everyone else hates it for some reason. It's not the best hot dog that I've had, but it was it was up there. It's the best hot The chili is the best hot dog chili you can get. I don't think so. It, don't it had that, it almost tasted like Christmas, whatever it was in there, like cinnamon. It was, it's cinnamon or taco or something. It tastes, yeah. it's, 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 it's Greek. I was, I was expecting to taste something meaty, meaty, Savory. but instead I was like, oh, this is, it tastes like the holidays. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm eating the holidays on a wiener. We got Second. one item left. I guess it's. Uh, oh, the pretzel. Yeah. I completely forgot about that. Tell me how that looks like a pretzel. Where's that pretzel shape you used to? Yeah, I don't... What is that? Here's the pretzel. <laughs> it looks like a... Obscure... I don't, I, really don't, I don't know what to call it. It's cylindric, not cylindric, it's round. No, oh, mm, mm, eat it though. It's, it's bread. <laughs> it's bread. It's bread. It's honestly. bread. Honestly. Buttered bread. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a pretzel. Yeah, I feel like you can get better ones at like a ballpark or something. <laughs> That's your pretzel though. Very doughy. Yeah, it's, it's all of them is just average. It's another three for me. Like, they're it's just, just 3.5. The, the food's not bad. It's just, no. it's just adequate. It's for gas food station is. food. Yeah. Now for gas station food, it's, it's like up there. It's like top tier gas station food. I don't know anybody who goes to 7-Eleven like, I love getting the hot dogs there. They only go there for the, the Slurpees. Yeah. Like everything we ordered here, minus the hot dogs, they made for us after I ordered it. Mm-hmm. And I waited forever and I felt bad because <laughs> the guy goes from making nothing to having five, four or five different menu items. To make. And he just sees one guy come up and he goes, oh thank god, just a simple order, just tell me like, <laughs> make, make like, a, like an ice cream or something. No, can I get a pretzel, a grilled cheese? And I got a breakfast burrito. And then I, uh, hold it up. I'll the year. The whole time I bet he was just cursing your name in his, in his head. Just like, you son of no, a No, they needed help. So literally, like, an alarm went off in the building. Did you not hear that, like, weird buzzing noise? Yeah, like, no. The guy goes, can, can you help him? No, I him. So he pressed something. A noise started going off because he needed help at the, uh, <laughs> kitchen. Like, can you just start annoying her? Is that what he said? No, can you start helping? That was a good <laughs> lunch and dinner. Honestly, it's kind of sitting a little weird in my stomach. Whoa. Overall, I think it was decent. decent. I mean, Overall, I probably wouldn't go there literally just to get some lunch. If I was, like, driving somewhere, I was like, needed to stop and get gas and get a quick bite, I would definitely come here. More often than not, it's the kind of place I go when I want lunch, but I'm not, like, starving, but, like, I'm getting a little hungry, and I'm just out doing things. Like, I would stop at QT, get a grilled cheese real quick, or we have a hot dog, or if I need, like, in the morning pork burrito, when I going to work and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one of those places. It's not a place I'm going to go, oh, I want QT today. So overall, what would you rate it? Overall, three. That's exactly what I was going to say, three as well. Overall. Average. It was a three. But for gas stations, above so average. For gas station, it's like a six out of five. That's my tip. Well, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching and eat. Again. I'm talking about shit. Yeah. We've been in this Monk still, dudes. Yeah. That's Kyle. Savo. Um... Remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, follow us on our social me oh, media <laughs> platforms, and then let us know if there's another restaurant or menu item you want to see us eat. I wonder if we should do like the, uh, the like hot noodle challenge. You know how good that would be? And like rate it. I don't know. You, you've never seen that? No. The hot noodle challenge? So it's like, uh, it, it's like, like ramen, mm -hmm. but they purposefully advertise it as something to be insanely hot. Oh God. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right. All right, never mind. We don't need your help anymore. We figured it out. But also let us know. We'll look forward <laughs> to that in the future. Because we're fat asses and love to eat. Yeah. Have a great day and a great life. <gasps> and enjoy yourself and eat good food. Peace. Uh -huh. We're just going to keep eating. The music's going to play and drown out our noises. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and then you're going to select another one of our videos. I'll have like a bit of it. Okay.